To understand MD2's logic, we build a net table. Diagram is made of external ports. We note down port names and sizes. Then we look at components, divided into curtis valves and footprints, and we note down IDs and cavity names. Then we switch to connectivity. Highlighted group of connections will be called the PNet. We add the P tag to corresponding ports in the table. We do the same for TNet, A1Net, B1Net, A2Net, B2Net, A1-1Net, B1-1Net and Innet. Run a create block command, type 200 by 100 by 100 and click OK. Search for TO3 footprint, specify net information as per net table for component EV1. Type EV1 as component ID, click insert, touch top face, rotate, adjust position, click OK to confirm. Edit net information as per net table for component EV2. Specify component ID, click insert, touch top face, rotate and specify reference from EV1. When done, click OK to insert. Search for T11A, specify port net names according to net table for component CB1. Type component ID and click insert. Touch top face, specify position and click OK. Then repeat same operation for CB2. Run export command. Touch EV1 port B and select the XG 1x8 size. Click continue, touch left face, adjust position and click OK. Select the left face and stretch it, adding 10 mm and click OK. Then we connect the EV1 port A with CB1 port 2. Run export command. Touch EV1 port A, select XG18, size and click continue. Touch right face, adjust position and click OK to confirm. Search for G3x8, specify port net names according to net table, type port ID A1 and click insert. Touch back face, connect to CB1 port 1, then click OK to confirm. Repeat same operation for B1. Run Angular Connection, touch CB1 port 3 and plug, type 5mm for diameter and click OK. Stretch the inclined drill, change inclination to make it a single inclination.
Align the inclined drill with CB1. Move inclined drill for a better connection. Repeat the same operation to create the inclined drill from CB2. Search for G1 by 2. Specify net name for cavity P. Type component ID and click insert. Position cavity on left face. Adjust position and click OK. Use move multiple command to make room for P port. Use a stretch drill to reposition inclined drills. Use a stretch drill to make other inclined connections. Search for FC10-2. Specify net info for CB1 from a net table. Type component ID, click insert, touch back face, connect with P port, reposition and click OK. Use stretch drill to reduce the drill diameter for CV1 and P. Search for G1 by 2. Specify net info for P1 from net table. Click insert, touch red face and connect with CV1 port 2. Run stretch drill and increase depth for P1. Run a stretch drill on EV1 port P and connect with inclination. Run match properties from EV1 P to EV2 P. Copy all geometry related parameters. Click OK to confirm. Search for G3 by 8. Type net info for A2 from net table. Click Insert, Touch Back Face and Connect. Do the same for B2 and for T port. Run export command and create a plug between EV1T and port T. Align T port with the plug. Create a new construction port between EV2 port T and port T. Move the port to avoid that error intersection. Stretch the drill to 12 mm diameter. Search for FC10-2. Add 
and the net info for RV2 as per net table. Type component ID, click insert, touch front face and position. Do the same for RV1 by defining net info per net table. Insert and position with the expected to RV2. Create a construction port between RV2 and T. Position on bottom face. Stretch right face to reduce block length. Add SV2 by looking at net table. Create a construction port to close the pinnet, connecting SV1 port 2 with pinnet. Verify wall thickness around cavity SV1. Run wall thickness command, select around the selected cavities option. Select SV1, define wall thickness limit and click start. MD tools will create a list of issues. Any item selection will highlight corresponding cavities in the block. Apply modifications to the block in order to get rid of wall thickness issues. Run connection check command to verify problems in the block. Highlight the issue to better understand if it is a missing connection, a dead to working error intersection, or a broken net. Connect RV2 port 1 with V2 net with a construction port. Adjust position and click OK.
add ingredients to the block. Select the cavity, specify location, click engrave. Do that for all the cavities in the block. If you have been designing in virtual mode, convert to feature. Run Manage Engravings to change all engravings from Cosmetic to Feature. Save the block and create an assembly file. Once you have positioned the block in the assembly, run assemble plugs command to automatically assemble all construction ports. Run assembly interface to specify 3D model for each cavity in the block. Click on the cavity, run select CAD model, search for the 3D model or browse through folders. Move the 3D file to right and confirm. In case of coils, select the cartridge valve first and then coil. Do the same operation for all relevant components in the block. After all the mapping is done, click update and wait for the 3D assembly to be completed. 